know, I'm, I'm Congressman Bill Foster, and I'm proud to represent the 11th District of Illinois. And in our district, we have vibrant immigrant communities from all over the world. And I've met many dreamers, both in, at home in Illinois and right here in the halls of Congress. For many of them, the United States is the only country that they've ever called home. Our district includes the diverse cities of Aurora, Bolingbrook, Joliet, and others. In Aurora, the East Aurora High School District 131 has one of the largest naval junior ROTCs in the world. And many of these young ROTC students come from immigrant families, and they dream one day in serving our country in the armed forces. You can see it in their faces during flag ceremonies, parades, and you can see the admiration of the younger children looking up to these ROTC dreamers. Many of them are here because their parents dreamed of a better life for their children. The DACA program has been incredibly successful. Over half a million young people are currently enrolled in it. They are living examples of the American dream, the idea that anyone could come here and have a fulfilling and prosperous life, regardless of where you come from or where you live. But instead of creating new opportunities for these great young people, Republicans in Congress have repeatedly voted to end the DACA program. We need to reform our outdated immigration laws and not double down on a broken system. As their representatives, we should honor their patriotism and dedication to our country with support, not fear and de degradation. It's a pretty simple proposition, and thank you so much. I thank the gentleman for, from Illinois for being here this evening, for standing up for some who uh, especially right now, feel that uh, perhaps their government is not with them, perhaps uh, they have been abandoned, perhaps these commitments that were made to them uh, that uh, engendered their trust, their willingness to come forward to share uh, their personal information, their addresses, their identities, uh, that, that perhaps they have been abandoned. And your presence here tonight, uh, your words, uh, I think, do much to show them that that, that is not the case. Uh, and that there's still a chance in this country that we will do the right thing. And I appreciate uh, so much the gentleman from Illinois for, for, for being here uh, tonight.